So this is the 25th and final Stu Bajkowski Candidates Night. I can't believe that I've been doing the show since I was 30 years old. <laughs> and neither can you. You know, Stu has survived a lot. And we have been through a lot of the daily news. He survived the Philadelphia, the Bicycle Coalition of Philadelphia. He's withstood the wrath of undocumented immigrants. And even one of his biggest adversaries, Helen Gant. As a longtime columnist, he's both feared and respected in this city, and I'm honored to call him my friend. He's done some really great work at the Daily News, and I'm going to miss working with him. We all will. So, Stu, I brought you a little gift. <laughs> I'm not leaving, Denise. What? I'm not leaving. <laughs> oh. I thought this was a going away party. No. <laughs> I brought you this. Oh. Let me show you that. Uh, you know, uh, uh, Stu Bikowski, you know, he, uh, well, I'm glad to hear he's not ending his career. Um, in fact, uh, many people have mentioned, you know, Stu as a possible political candidate. I mean, I thought it was kind of ridiculous myself, you know, the stuff he writes, um, his demeanor, the way he dresses, but, but uh, you know, I've changed my mind because it's been proven true that Stu Bikowski could actually be mayor of the city. I mean, when we look at Donald Trump and how well he's doing all across the, the nation, we know that a guy like Stu can really win in Philadelphia, at least if he's a Republican. Um, you know, the thing about Stu and, uh, you know, his perspectives, he's outspoken. You know, English only. I get it. Don't speak English. No service. Can't call an ambulance. Can't get a hospital. Can't get a police officer. No English. No service. Gotcha. I personally disagree with that, but you know, he has a right to his opinion, and he's a very opinionated gentleman. Uh, you're not a citizen. Yeah, I got that. That's that kind of thing. So that's that's where he's going. Uh, but I just, uh, I think it's really from his perspective that, you know, America is a country for hardworking, earnest, honest people, and we don't want lazy people sucking up our benefits. You know, you think about people who walked maybe thousands of miles through jungle, desert, dangerous terrain, just to get here to make your salad. Maybe working three or four jobs a week. Lazy. Not like Stu, he works about three or four hours a week to write his column, get make money. People who come here illegally overstay their visa, they've done wrong things, I don't love them. It's just that simple. You believe in following the law, but you don't. I believe in following the law. Okay. Now, with that out of the way, David O, he made me seem like a nativist and then he racial jokes about Cobbs Creek. Hell, I used to live in Yaden Ye when I moved into it was 50% black. <laughs> That's why I moved out. Oh, did I say that shit? No! Okay, 